Okay, so this, so this is Travis. <laughs> Travis, the traveling doll, who my daughter named him. So Travis comes all over the world with me and teaches all over the place. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to talk a little bit about burping. Now, this is stuff that you can give to your parents straight away. It's parents? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry. yeah, yeah. And, and it really, really helps. Okay, so the idea is that... N the idea of how we would normally burp a baby is like this. We'd sit them on our lap, have them right up over like this, and we sit and pat on them. The problem is that at two in the morning, this becomes this. So we want to take the patting away. Also, if you sit and pat on them, what ends up happening is you break down those bubbles. Mm -hmm. To be able to burp a bubble out, we want to have a big air bubble. So you don't want to fracture those bubbles, because if you do, they'll go down, and then we're going to have three hours of trying to push and heave to be able to get everything out. So we don't want this also. These, a lot of the time, are refluxy babies. Refluxy and colic babies go into this epistotonic position, and they like to go into this uh, extension. That's going to cause inflammation at the back here. So if you want to keep your baby asleep, that's not what you need to do. So we've, so first, that's not what we're going to do. So what we're going to do is get them into this nice little grip with this uh, thumb on this side and our two fingers over there. I've got baby right up against me here. My hand here, my hand here, and I'm going to get them as straight as I can. Because what we're trying to do is I want to get a straight pipe between the stomach and the air because yeah. burping is passive. Yeah. So if I can get the high pressure in the stomach to connect the low pressure outside, the burp will pop up, and that's what I'm after. So it's much more about this position than this. You guys have been quite forceful there with poor little Travis. Yeah, Travis has been through it. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, but, but absolutely right, because everything we're doing is no more force than you would put on your eyeball. So, right. yeah, okay. so you want to get them right on in, hand over here, over here. This is wonderful for people with big hands. If you have smaller hands, you put them this way. Hand goes behind, and you can have them like that just as long as we're nice and straight. Now, the trick to this is to get a little bit of a bounce. So my leg would be down here, and it's a little bit of a bounce underneath. So what I'm trying to do is get the air bubbles to move around so that I have a better chance of them popping up. So we've got him straight with a little bounce underneath. So that's kind of the first position. Mm -hmm. Second position that works really, really nicely is to have Travis here underneath, and I'm going to lift underneath there, and then I'm going to bounce again because I'll be seated on a lower chair. The idea here is I'm lifting the diaphragm away from the top of the stomach, and I'm making a little bit of space for those air bubbles to be able to pop out. The last one is for the dads that works really, really nicely, where we pop over the shoulder here, and we come underneath onto the leg, and it's a little bit of a wobble down like that. Those three to move around works really, really nicely. Okay.